Today we're opening 100 packs of Turbo Pack 4. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video. In this video, we're opening up Turbo Pack 4, an entire box worth. Now we opened Turbo Pack 6 like last week and it was really awesome, we pulled two ulti dark arm dragons, it was pretty amazing. This set, not quite up to the dark arm dragon level, but I think overall like the average card in here in terms of the foils is probably better than that set. Maybe not better, because dark arm dragon's pretty awesome, but inside this we can pull ulti Tragodia, Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Super Rare, we've got a Gotham's Emergency Call, the ultra that one's kind of eh not great but there's still some other good stuff like debris dragon super rare but before we get into the actual opening we have a giveaway i'll be giving away this ghost rare blue eyes white dragon all you have to do like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know your favorite card from this set what other tournament pack set do you want me to open up because we haven't opened all of these we've opened well i guess a couple packs of each but we haven't opened a lot like this before for every single one all right let's get right into it we do have 100 packs let's see if we can pull that deep sea diva super rare that is really what we're looking for then of course the Trigodia ultimate rare is pretty awesome as well so we're looking for both of those both great edison cards and deep sea diva can even be played in like current meta sometimes it comes back a lot so let's Let's see if it's at the very front. Oh, it's not. I think it might not be at the front like before. Gladiator's Proving Ground, actually really nice for Gladiator Beast Edison decks. We're going to be pulling that out. Psychic Commander as our rear. All right, let's go. Next card. I actually needed a Gladiator's Proving Ground, so I opened this entire box just to get the... No, I'm just kidding. Yo, it wasn't the reason. I also got these from Kaz as well. Kaz, he, he sold me a couple of things the other day, and I decided, you know what? Let's just open all of them and have fun with them. Amazon is Spellcaster. Very cool. We've got a Wide Hole and a Swallow Flip. I'm already excited that we don't have to, like... Uh, you know, ruin it at the very first card. So it's nice to have that back. Moki Moki is also in here as a common, which apparently is like $2 and something. I'm looking on the outside of the TCG player price guide. So if I clicked in, it might be less or more. You never really know with the uh, the TCG player price guide. Moki Moki, there we go. Dunamis Dark Witch. That's actually a pretty cool card and a rare. That was a TP8 Super, I believe. And as you guys probably know, some of you guys might be new, so you might not know. Tournament pack one through eight were the original tournament packs. You got those for playing at local tournaments. The second iteration, was champion pack one through eight there's eight different sets then turbo pack one through eight that's what we're on right now that's what we're opening right now then there's also astral pack and ots which goes all the way to ots 20 which is insane so key mace actually pretty cool wad kid and bark of dark ruler we're looking at some classics right here some just like very generic like sacred cards kind of like monsters you know they're like 300 attack they have no effect they're in that game boy game you know uh, we have Gladiator Proving Ground. Very nice. King of the Skull Servants and Swallow Flip. I bet King of the Skull Servants was worth something until it got all those Speed Duel reprints. All right, so far, no foils. That's okay. We are just looking for, you know, not, I would say one foil. It's not like Dark Arm Dragon where we just need one, but the Deep Sea Diva is like a $200 card, so they're pretty big when we pull them. Advanced Ritual Art, also another good one, plus the Moki Moki, which is very solid. I think the best, uh, the best rare in here is End of Anubis, which is hilarious. A reprint from... What is it? Ancient Sanctuary. I was about to say Ferrani Garden. Ancient Sanctuary Seeker Rare. Now it's a rare. We got Dunamis Dark Witch. Okay. White Hole also from TP1. So this set has a ton of like old tournament pack reprints. So it took the tournament pack and they said, you know what? We'll do more tournament pack cards in here. Spellcaster. We've got Oslo Hero and the Bark of Dark Ruler. Pretty nice. See what we can get so far. I didn't mix these up at all. So we're going to see what kind of order they're in. Key Mace, Oslo, and Bark of Dark Ruler again. That's also Legacy of Darkness. So almost every card in here is an old reprint, basically. They basically just upped the rarity on a few of them and downgraded the rarity on some. Let's see, you have Moki Moki. Nice, which is the same rarity. And then End of Anubis. There we go. That's the best one. Nice rare. Supposedly $5. I could click in and figure it out, but right now we are kind of on a roll. Uh, anything else that we have not pulled in terms of the foil or non-foils i think we might have pulled most everything so far uh, but we're still looking for any foil we haven't pulled any of those yet last time we did not get every foil we did not get a um whatever he's called the uh, synchron guy why am i wanting to call him junk synchron turbo synchron quick draw synchron there we go we nailed it white hole and end of anubis we didn't get a single one we opened 100 packs we pulled every other card in the set we did not pull quick draw synchron that was a little sad because we did get three of the fishborg gladiator beast proving ground do you know, dark witch cool I'm trying to separate these into piles to save me some time after the opening from uh you know acts cards worth like over a dollar versus the cards that are not very nice we've got amazon spellcaster you know still no foils okay we're probably what 15 packs in 20 packs in probably more than 15 packs we have not pulled a single foil let's see come on diva let's go advanced ritual art hopefully we'll have the same treatment we got fishboard we got three of those supers hopefully we get three divas that would be pretty big because 
I certainly paid a lot more than I'm going to get back for uh, for the cards we pull here in terms of this uh, this box opening. So we want to pull at least the best possible cards. If it happens like where we could get zero, like quick draw, we got zero. If we get zero divas, this would be pretty rough. I probably just jinxed us by saying that, but we'll see. Hopefully I did not. Two, I'm happy with. I think two is average probably for what you would get in terms of a super, just getting two of one. Uh, but you could always get zero. It's, it's definitely possible. Let's see. I mean, champion pack, we got screwed with bottomless trap hole. We got zero of those. We've had it happen with turbo pack and quick draw. Uh, we kind of know. We kind of know how it goes. It can go anyway. Oh, there's the ultra rare. Gotham's emergency call. Sadly, this is only like a $30 card because, you know, Gotham's, I mean, maybe back then it was decent for the X-Saber cards. I think it was pretty decent for a decent, well, not a decent, a small amount of time, but uh, it's not really that great anymore. And it didn't make it into any old formats people play like Edison. I don't think anyone's playing X-Sabers or anything like that. So I don't even know. Were they fully out yet? I know some of them were out, but I bet the I bet the whole deck wasn't out or something because I don't have, I haven't heard of anybody actually playing them. So unfortunate that that is the ultra rare. Oh, and there's a super. This is a pretty big one. Compulsory evacuation device. Let's check it out. Uh, there is a little line over here. Unfortunately, that will hurt if we're trying to grade these. If these, I mean, if this is not gradable, this will just go into a deck that I'm playing, like an old school deck. Super rare compulse. That is a good card. Okay, so we have now pulled. Ultra and Compulse. It's not a Diva, but it's still a good one. The one we do want to see, of course, is Deep Sea Diva. Blackwing, Sirocco, the Dawn, and Compulse are in the same ballpark. They're kind of like in the 60 to 70 range. Uh, Deep Sea Diva is like 200. And then the Debris Dragon is 17. So you guys can you guys can figure out from there which ones we want to pull. <laughs> Gotham's is uh, the cheapest foil besides the Debris Dragon, but we're going to get probably two of those, I would think, based on what we got from Sangen. With Sangen, we got two. Uh, so I would assume that's pretty average for a box. I don't really know. The Trigodia Ultimate Rare, funny enough, is not the most expensive card because of the Deep Sea Diva, but it's still over 100 because it is used in Edison a little bit, Vance Virtual Art, so it's not a bad card. It's going to be a decent Ultimate Rare. Hopefully it's gradable. If it's not, that will be going in one of my decks in Edison uh and of anubis because i want to send some of this stuff in we're definitely sitting in the dark arm dragon so we're gonna have a little psa return of our turbo pack stuff see what we get i'll probably send the supers at like uh either bulk or oh there we go deep sea diva okay 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 packs are going everywhere aka my sleeves not packs there are packs of sleeves going over there we go okay this card looks we've got sleeves uh i mean there's a little bit of back stuff going on but that's just how it goes a little bit of print lines center looks good oh this is such a nice card deep sea diva maybe we'll grade it i haven't decided yet on that one because it could go in my edison deck you know max it out a little bit maybe if we pull three i'll consider that we'll see all right i was saying uh the supers of the you know the smaller supers i'm probably sending the bulk rate so we might not see those for a while uh the dark arm dragons are probably going at a rate that we'll see them pretty soon because they are pretty expensive and pretty pretty worth to send like that psychic commander very nice that was a good pack gladiator beast proving ground as well as the Moki Moki. Very good. Very solid. We've got, oh, Swallow Flip. Rex and Special, that three card pack somehow. I don't know how it's possible, but I did it. You know I'll find a way, guys. Let me know if you like these old tournament pack openings. Um, I like to do these at least once if I can. Uh, this is not something I'll probably repeat. So this is probably the last time you're going to see us open this mini Turbo Pack 4. Like, I probably will never find this mini again. Same with the Turbo Pack 6. Like, we will almost definitely never find that mini again. Because that was... Uh, that was a rare opening and those packs you don't even find them in single packs much less 100 so that was a pretty crazy one uh, i like to do them at least once though even though of course we did not make our money back even with the double dad uh, i like to at least if, if you're gonna find my channel see if ruxin's opened it before i like to uh have at least once where we got a big opening of it and that's that's kind of the thing with all the first edition booster boxes like the magician's force you guys know we got killed on that but i'm glad that i have an opening of it you know on the channel IOC is the same thing. We're trying to look for an IOC at some point. Uh, I know it's going to be a huge neg because you can't even, you can pull the best three cards or two of the best three cards out of, from your ultras and then you still don't make your money back. So yeah, it, if you have like the ultimate IOC box, you pull a CED, you pull DMOC and you pull um, the Blacklister Soldier and get tens on all of them. You'd like break even, I think. Maybe you'd make a little bit. It, it would be, it would be pretty bad. So, I mean, it'd be pretty amazing, but it would be. You, you wouldn't be making any money. So that's why that, that box is so not worth, but I want to open it at some point. So hopefully that happens. 
that's kind of why we open these these specific ones because they're going to be big negs but they're going to be fun and awesome to have on the channel all right so what are we at two supers one ultra can we get another diva that would be amazing we're just hoping for a second diva moki moki we got to get back to it there we go do nama's dark witch add it again uh dark witch yeah it's not even a dollar unfortunately even as a rare uh this is opening weird they're opening like from the the packs are ripping a little different than than the new ones they've definitely changed how they work i was gonna say the genetics of the pack that's not that's not right oh uh, i totally lost what the word was but i had a word that was gonna be perfect and i don't know what it was oh debris dragon all right okay okay well so hopefully it's the only one <laughs> debris dragon okay super rare it's still really cool though if you're running like a, a quick draw deck which i don't think people are really running that much in edison but Still a very cool card and playable in some medicine decks. All right, Debris Dragon, no big deal. Still a cool super rare, we'll take it. So now we've pulled, what, everything except Blackwing, Sirocco, The Dawn, and Trigodia in terms of cards in the set and foils. But uh, we've pulled every other card in the set. Bark of Dark Ruler. It's really cool if we can pull every card in the set. Um, I would have been okay not pulling Debris Dragon, but we've already pulled it. So at this point, I'm okay pulling every card in the set. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull the Blackwing. Put in our Blackwing deck, Bark of Dark Ruler. What did we pull in terms of foils last time? Was it 10 foils out of the Turbo Pack 6? I can't remember. It was two dads, three of the fish guy. Um, okay, all right. Got him. I was going to be at this one, and I was like, oh, wait, we're going to get two of those. Got him's Emergency Call, Ultra Rare. So here's our second Ultra. So two Ultras, three Supers so far. We have not pulled the big old ulti yet. So we're still looking for that and a Blackwing Sirocco of the Dawn. We do have tons of Dark Hole, though. Lots of Dark Hole in this video. Many have been pulled. We got Key Mace, Vance Ritual Art, another good one. Can we pull something big? Let's go. What will we get? Amazon Spellcaster, the end of Anubis, another decent card. Can we get the ulti? Come on, Trigodia. Make it happen. Wad Kid, Bark of Dark Ruler, pretty cool. I don't know if you're guaranteed to get two ultis. We got two in the Turbo Pack 6. I don't know if it was change or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Moki Moki, cool. And Advanced Ritual Art. We didn't check the back of these to see if maybe they say. Uh, the ratios did not say on the other one they i don't think they say in general on turbo pack it seems so no turbo pack ratios a really cool turbo pack opening i would love to do would be turbo pack one to get the judgment dragon that would be pretty amazing psychic commander that would be a very cool pull because that card is beautiful if you haven't seen it it is amazing like it, it has really good foiling it looks really good i think it looks better than dad to be honest in ultimate rare so Definitely a nice one. We got Advanced Ritual Art. What are we, halfway through, probably? Based on the foils, I think we're exactly halfway through. If, if there's 10, I could be wrong about that. I can't really remember. It might have been 8. Uh, the end of Anubis and another Moki Moki. What if the Key Mace is worth anything? 84 cents, according to this. That makes sense, yeah. It probably got another reprint at some point. Those are the ones that'll be valuable until they get a reprint. Because they'll, they'll have one printing and people will want to collect those. And then what happens is... They get a reprint, then nobody cares. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Those are a little bent. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been rough. Please, no. Please, no bent ultis. Another potential negative opening packs. You know, they can be damaged right out of the pack. Bark of Dark Ruler. I just noticed, I don't know if you guys can see this. There is a giant print line on both of these. Right down the side, if you guys can see that. So these King of the Summon Skulls are, uh, they have a weird print line down the side. We'll see if we find another one and see if that is consistent and if they were all just printed really weird. Uh, okay, we got a Moki Moki. I noticed that in the lighting that I set it down and I was like, hmm, that's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of kind of odd. Okay, what are we going to get next? Amazon Spellcaster, Advanced Ritual Art. All right, what else are we going to get? Will we get the ulti? So far, please. I just want it to not be bent. I want to pull it and I want them to not be bent. All right, let's go. We got Dunamis Dark Witch. Oh, King of the Skull Servants. This one doesn't seem to have it. I don't see it. So that one escaped the wrath of the printer, it seems. Please bless us with an ultimate rare. Let's go. We have Watt Kid Swallow Flip. Still looking for the ultis. A little bit more suspense in this one than the dad opening. We pulled those early. This one a little different. We have not pulled any ulti yet, which is a little scary. We really want to pull two, honestly, but one would be great as well. Let's see if we can do it. We have Oslo Hero, Swallow Flip. Cool. What else do we have left? We have Gladiator Proving Ground, Dudama Stark Witch. Cool. I needed one Proving Ground, and now I have a hundred of them. <laughs> we have pulled many Proving Grounds, so I can make a lot of Gladiator Beast decks. King of the Summon Skull, do you think he has it? Bark Dark Ruler, okay. This one has it. There it is, the print line again. Interesting. So these King of the Summon Skulls, unfortunately, kind of got waxed in the printer, but 
That's okay. I don't think they're really worth too much. 80 cents, so they're not too crazy anyway. At least it's not a foil. White hole, swallow flip. We got white hole and dark hole in that pack, which is interesting. Where we can uh, both destroy and negate dark hole. Very interesting. Well, we can activate dark hole, destroy the whole field, or we can negate the dark hole, which is pretty cool. Gladiator proving ground added again. Still looking for an ultimate rare. Wow, this is uh, pretty wild, actually. Pretty wild. We are... Uh, Still opening, haven't pulled it. I don't know how many packs this is, but it feels like maybe a third or a quarter of the packs left, something like that, out of 100. I mean, 100 total packs. Moki Moki, Bark of Dark Ruler. We have Key Mace and, oh, another Compulse, there we go. We finally put, it's been a long time since we pulled a foil. Wow, it's been a really long time. We have a nice looking Compulse, okay. So this is a decent one, you know, it's an average one. We got one Diva, two Compulse, one Debris, and two Gotems. I kind of didn't realize how long it's been since a foil in general. It's been, I mean, that was a lot of packs. We went on a long run without any foils. Okay, well, now we change that. Here we go on a hot streak. Last time, we did get back-to-back -back earlier, though, which was pretty weird. So let's see if that happens again. Proving ground. No, not again. Okay, is there anything on the skull? Nope on the skull let's see if we can pull a foil here we go gotta believe we have amazon spellcaster moki moki swallow flip okay gotta believe that we will pull something big i think we can do it we have key mace are you kidding me three of the why didn't this happen with the sangan we got three gotham's emergency call oh come on man that sucks so much it's literally the second worst foil and we get three of them it's an ultra why are we getting three of them oh no you gotta be kidding me man that is so bad where are our ultimates Where's the drag? Oh, I'm getting nervous now. Do we have some weird error where we got like four ultras and no ultis? Oh no. Oh no. At least we pulled one diva. Oh, that would be scary. Oh. Okay, another compulsion. You get a playset, which this is probably something you would want in a playset if you're actually gonna play them. But what is happening right now? Three compulse, three Gotham's emergency call. Oh, you think these are consistent because there's like a hundred in a box, and then you find out they're not. They're not consistent at all. They're just complete randomness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was in despair mode for a second. All right, Tragodia. We at least got one of the ultimate rare. Thank goodness. Tragodia. Very nice. That's an ultimate rare. Oh, wow. I was getting nervous there. So we've got how many foils now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine. So nine foils. Will we get 10? Will we get nine? Will we get 25? I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird opening. I got a little sad there for a second. We pulled the third Gotham's. We pulled another Compulse. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes, Diva, back to back Tragodia, and then another Diva. What a weird opening, man. What a weird opening. So we have another Diva. All right, that turned out a lot better. If we get another Trag, we'd have 11 foils. That would be kind of a lot. Uh, I don't know what's about to happen. I really don't know, because now we have 10 and we haven't pulled. I really hope that Trag did not replace, or not the Trag, the third Gotham's didn't replace a Trag. That would be rough. <laughs> That'd be rough, because Trag's like 120. And, uh, you know, obviously an ultimate rare, which makes it better. And then Gotham's. And you can actually use it. You can't really use Gotham's too much. Um, I mean, I guess you could, but I don't know what format you'll be playing. But, yeah. And that's only a $30 card. So, it doesn't have a lot of upside, unfortunately. But we can still redeem ourselves. There's still time. In of Anubis. All right. Does this skull have a... Okay, it doesn't have a scar on it. Nice. So, we've got a lot of packs left. But there, it seems like the foils are grouping together. It feels like we pull... When we just pull, like, three in a row or something. Four in a row. It was four in a row, right? Okay, very strange opening for sure. Very strange, Key Mace, uh, Bark of Dark Ruler with the Moki Moki. We got a lot of the Mokis, a lot of the Mokis, very nice. Come on, let's go. King of Skull Servant, Advanced Ritual Art. All right, he doesn't have the scratch on him either, cool. One more track, I'm super happy with this box. If we get a, if we get two of the ultis and we get two divas, that'd be pretty great. Also, a third, uh, third diva, I would be happy with that as well. Here we go. Third diva, that would be pretty nice. I mean, that would be a good, uh, that'd be a good one uh, to get a third of instead of an ulti, because it's worth more, <laughs> and it's more playable. It's playable in current formats sometimes, playable in old school formats, very playable in old school formats. Uh, Oslo hero, do not Stark witch. So if we could get one more, it'd be amazing. Let's go. Come on, let's do. Uh oh, let's do this. Proving ground, ventral art. 
few more i mean what 15 packs something like that maybe 20. hopefully there's some foils in here it's a foil I ask and I, I guess I received. We got a Jabri Dragon. Okay. So we have a lot of the bad ones. We got three Gotham's, two Jabri, three Copals. That's pretty good. We we haven't pulled Sirocco yet. What is it, what is up with us not getting one of the foils? And it's usually one of the better ones. It's technically the second best one behind the Diva. Third best card in the set, but second best super rare. I don't, yes, let's go. How many foils is this? Is that 12? That's definitely more, I think, than the last one, Trigodia. I mean, how many foils did we pull in that Turbo Pack 6? Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That seems weird. That seems higher than usual. I'm pretty sure we only pulled 9 foils. Is that right? 9 foils total, maybe 10 in the last one? I just counted up the ones I had. I think there's only 9. So we have 12 in this? Did, are the pull rates different? Or... Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn? Okay, wait a second. Do we have some weird error box? I feel like we're getting too many foils. Because we now have 13. We've pulled every card now, which is amazing. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, I feel like we're pulling too many foils. We had 9 out of the Turbo Pack 6. We have 13 now. It feels like we might be getting extra foils, which is amazing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean that, that's always awesome, pulling extra foils. We're taking that. Well, I don't know if we're going to get more. At this point, I'm extremely happy with this because we pulled every card, pulled two D.Va, two Trag. I mean, if we pull a third D.Va at that point, I think we just lose it because that'd be 14 foils. Wow, we got a burp there. And 14 foils is basically 50% more than we got. I've seen some weird things like OTS openings where people get like, instead of getting the five or six ultimate rares, they get like 12. I've seen stuff like that, but I don't. I have not really seen it with Turbo Pack. I guess it could have happened back then too. I don't know. Let me know if you're a Turbo Pack aficionado and you guys kind of know this stuff, you know the ratios, uh, let me know. But on the Turbo Pack stuff I've opened, I don't remember opening this many because we did open some turbo pack i think three five and seven we were getting like 10 foils at the most i think so 14 or 13 seems extremely high i don't think we're going to get another one but if we do that would be crazy uh at this point i really don't know what to expect though so cool i mean we'll take it we'll take it i mean we got a third ultra which is weird so that makes me think maybe there was some kind of weird error where we got bonus foils i don't know if this is an error opening or not but it feels like one. So uh, let's see. The end of Anubis. Cool. I'm down to pull like a two more foils. They've been clumped together. So maybe maybe they accidentally put in double the foils. Who knows? If they did do double, we're going to have five more foils or something. So uh, I don't think that's going to happen. But it'd be pretty cool. So no quick draw. But we are kind of making it up for, you know, making up for in this opening. The Do Not Dark Witch. If I had mixed these packs up, who knows what would have happened. We might have had five foils in a row. We might have had them just coming, you know, right next to each other or nine. Who knows? Nine packs left. Ten packs left. Something like that. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. I've somehow taken forever to open these. I keep getting distracted uh, by more and more foils. It's very weird. All right. Uh, Turbo Pack 4. You've been good to us so far. You were expensive, but giving us the bonus foils is definitely helping out. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to let me know in the comments that you want to see more old school Turner Pack, old school openings, stuff like that. And we'll try to make it happen. This stuff doesn't come around every day. But sometimes it does. And then, uh, you know, I want to pick it up. Five, six packs left. Let's go. We have Key Mace. Swallow Flip. Five packs to go. Will we get another foil? At this point, I'm not expecting one. But I also would not be that shocked. Because we have pulled 13 foils. It's been pretty good. We have Bark of Dark Ruling. Cool. Four packs to go. Turbo Pack 4. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Come on. Oh, another one. Blackwing Sirocco. So it's like, oh, there's a little print dot on that. So that will be going in a Blackwing deck uh, because it, it's not going to grade well with that on there. So uh, yeah, I was, said I wouldn't be surprised, but I was still a little surprised. So now we have 14 foils. We have two of every foil at least. And then we got a bonus ultra rare. So wait, do we get more than two of any super? One, two. Yeah, we got three on the compulse. Okay, yeah. And then we got two of the ultis. They've been back to back. So here we go. Let's hope for a back to back. Let's get a 15th foil. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, let's do it. Moki Moki. Swell flip. Okay, that was a good pack. Good stuff in there. Two packs to go. I still have hope, honestly. Come on, give us one more ulti or one more deep sea diva. That would be so epic. You gotta believe in this epic opening. Let's go. Do not mistake witch. And the final pack of this opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. We have ended up making this a very long video. Um, but it's 100 packs. What do you expect? You know, it's, and it's been epic. Like. You know, I was expecting some cookie cutter ratios and we're not getting that today. So we've got a Oslo here. Let's go. Last pack. Gladiator Proving Ground again. And we have 
swallow flip. Okay, so we didn't end it on the last pack, but 14 foils out of a 100 pack box with at least two of each foil in there, which is pretty amazing. I mean, there's some really awesome cards in here, so I'm super excited. That was an awesome opening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, An Unatized Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.